Hey there, welcome back to my channel here at Jay's Kennel Corner. It is your boy Jay. Hi. And today I have for you a really exciting wax haul from someone I have been dying to get wax from because her whole aesthetic is just Halloween creepy fun times, which is right up my alley. And it is Britta's Creepy Treasures. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yay. Woohoo. So, as of me filming this video, it is 9 11. This literally just got delivered around like 8 30 or so. I was clearly asleep. And I heard the 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 box fall on the porch and I was like, oh get go. So here we are. Let's just jump on into this. I am so excited. <laughs> okay, so first we have this amazing business card. How freaking cute is that card? Look at that. Fun stuff. A noty note. I love this paper. This is cute. Uh, Jay, thank you for your support. I hope you enjoy. Ryan. Well, thank you, Ryan. And I'm pretty sure I most certainly will enjoy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's just jump on into this. You got some shampoo samples. Let's look at the shampoo samples. This one is Benny's Coffee, which is espresso, zucchini bread, and brown sugar. Now, you know me and bakery and coffee things. I don't do it, but I will smell it for you guys. And thank you, Britta, for the samples. That is straight up coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you def it smells like a dark roast coffee with like a brown sugar creamer. It's actually quite nice. What I'm to myself? No. Here we go. Next, we have Monster Under the Bed, which is flannel sheets and blue sugar. Oh, this sounds up whose alley? Mine. <laughs> Let's sniff it. And it most certainly is up my alley. Yeah, that's something I would definitely order for myself. This is She'll Die First, which is butter mints, pink sugar, and Mrs. Claus cookies and these cute little tombstones. How adorable is that? Ooh, definitely heavy on the butter mix. That's really all I get. This is actually quite relaxing. Oh my God. And here we have Hide and Go Shriek, which is watermelon, strawberry, pink berry, and taco. What is that? And pink sugar. I see that scent so much and I'm like, what does it even smell like? Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> so anyways. Oh, this smells really nice. Ooh, that's a good strawberry. Mm. I definitely get the watermelon and the pink sugar. I pop up that strawberry. And I'm not sure what pink berry and tonka smells like, so I can't really say how that smells. Sorry. But um, let's just jump on into what I actually ordered. We're going to start with this. How cool. Everything is wrapped. It's like opening presents. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, put that there. Ooh, Camp Dread, pineapple, orange sherbet, and vanilla bean marshmallow in a souffle cup. Oh, that's cool. I dig it. Can it, can it pop? Oh, it, that was easy. Hi. So it's like dual colored. That is nifty. This light is halo bright. Sorry. The sun is not exactly all the way out. So that's why I'm using my light and it's super bright as ever. But um, that's cute. Let's sniffy sniff. Oh my God, yes. Oh, MJ. It smells like a pineapple orange creamsicle. Yeah. That's what this smells like, a pineapple orange creamsicle. I don't get much of the BBM on cold. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I'm gonna put that back in there. And this was poured on March 3rd. So this is ready to go. You're ready to go, boy. Yeah. Okay, next we have 
with this here, maybe. Ooh, two things. Let's start with this one here. This one is a, oh, that is so cool. Okay, this is poison apple, which is mac apple, fire roasted marshmallow, and vanilla bean marshmallow poured on April 10th. You need some time to cure, playboy. Or you witch, you witch, you. Let's see how this is. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. It's like the moon and the witch on the broomy broomstick. It's triple colored, how cool is that? Let's give it a sniffy sniffers. Oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. You definitely get that Mac apple and that vanilla bean marshmallow. Oh, this is this is definitely a fall scent, which I actually might save this for fall. This smells incredibly good, and it's so freaking cool. Look at her face; she's she like giving you this like witchy smirk. Don't look at me like that, you witch. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. Okay. And put that there. So, oh, how freaking cool. I hate spiders though. So this one is All Tricks, No Treats, which is orange sherbet, Hawaiian punch, lemon curd, and whipped cream poured on April 7th. You need time for what, boy? Cure. Oh my God, how freaking cool is this? I'm being so overdramatic, but this is really freaking cool. It's like one, two, three, four different colors. And I'm loving this web spider nifty thing. Oh, this is amazing. You really get the Hawaiian punch and the orange sherbet. Oh, that Hawaiian punch is freaking good. The lemon curd's kind of like in the background. That's really... T I really want to eat this because it smells just like hawaiian punch and i love hawaiian punch it's good for any day any time breakfast or dinner i'm just saying um, so continuing on we have another spidey webby web i believe these are called creepy crawlies if i'm not mistaken so this one is bring smasher which is strawberry, blackberry, mango, pineapple, tropical fruit, and margarita. Pour it on April 9th. And this is such a cool, funky color combo. I love me some layered colors. And this is freaking awesome. Let's give it a sniffy sniffer. Oh, this is like a fruit lover's heaven, which is me. You really do get that tropical fruit in that margarita right off the bat. You get a pop of the strawberry, a pinch of the mango, and a sprinkle of the pineapple. But you definitely get a good heavy pound bag of that margarita and that tropical fruit. That's amazing. It, now that, that just screams summer. Holy crap. I love that. Probably too much. That's good. I like that a lot. Next, we have here the four pack of Jacks. Yay. This one is in the blob, which is a so white type strawberry and a summer scoop. I'll take out one of these because they look the same. Oh my God. How this glare on this light is ridiculous. All right. But that is so. That's better. That is so. I am all up in your face. I am so sorry. But um, it's triple colored. Let's give it a sniffy. Ooh. Now I don't know what so white is. I'm not a lushy, so I don't know what that is. But it smells good, whatever it is. You really do get that so white, whatever that is, and then this summer scoop. Oh, that's really good. You, you know what? You get the strawberry too. Hmm, and that's a good strawberry. It's not like, it's not a candy strawberry. It's like a sugared strawberry. It's like you took some strawberries, mashed them up and put sugar on them. That's what her strawberry smells like. 
Can you get back in the bag, Jack? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Only a few more things. I won't keep you long, I promise. I promise. I am too hyper for it be 9 o'clock in the morning. But I have Halloween themed wax. So therefore, <laughs> I'm pretty, you know, hyper. So here we have a webby webby in Candy Man, which is bubblegum, cotton candy, and cotton candy frosting. Okay, let's check you out. Ooh, you're cool. You are triple colored. Hi, aren't you adorable? Let's smell you. Oh, this is literally a cotton candy's bubble gum. Yeah, you get the bubble gum first, but then the cotton candy hits right afterwards. Mm -hmm. If you can, if you can, oh, you know what? If any of you remember when Bubblelicious had the cotton candy bubble gum, it was in like this shiny blue pack from like maybe the early 2000s, late 90s. They had a cotton candy bubble gum. This smells exactly like that bubble gum. And I'm shook. I am shook I live for it. Love me some of that. Next we have another Webby in the Necronomicon, which is Rustic Lodge, Amber and Sandalwood, and Juicy Pear. Oh, I love pear. What the heck is Rustic Lodge? No idea. This is in a two-tone web. That is, I love those colors. It's kind of like swampy looking, color-wise. I dig it. Ooh. This is fall for days. I will actually melt this all October. Just this, just this one scent. Cause it is, it is like a fall and Halloween scent. You really do get that pear. That's a good pear too. It's good and juicy and sweet. And I think I'm getting that rustic lodge. It's like this sweet woodsy undertone. That is amazing. I need more of that. This, that, I need more of all of this, to be honest. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> that smells really freaking good. I didn't get much of the amber and sandalwood on cold, but these two bad boys here, oh yeah, you're a good time in my nose. Next we have Oh yeah. This one is Phantom Shadows. Tobacco and Bay Hipster and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I believe these shapes are called the Eight-Legged Freaks. And that is exactly what you are, an Eight-Legged Freak. But you're so cool looking. <laughs> I love it. Let's smell it. Ooh. Oh, this is really nice. That tobacco and bake with the vanilla bean marshmallow is a winner. Oh, that's amazing. I stand this scent. I would get a bag of this. Oh, and you really do get that hipster. Oh, I love hipster. It's like this like very, like hipster is hard to really like put into words, but it's very much like a Think of like how maybe a like a library nerd would like 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 a really sexy library nerd would smell. That's how hipster smells. Yeah. <laughs> that tobacco and bay and this is amazing too. Oh wow. That's really good. You really do get the tobacco and bay in the hipster first and then the sweetness of the BBM. Oh go godly. Love that. And we also have in that little packet there, Voodoo Island, which is orange sherbet, Hawaiian punch, lemon curd, and whipped cream. And this other cool looking eight legged freak. I love the colors on these. How cool. 
Looks like orange and lemon lime. <laughs> Let's smell it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah. You definitely get the lemon curd in this one a lot more. The lemon curd and whipped cream. You get a pop of the Hawaiian punch just ever so slightly. Oh, and that orange sherbet. It's, it's like a very creamy orange. And I love this. That smells freaking bomb. My God, I'm in love with all of this. And lastly, we have a bakery bag in Beach Party Massacre, which is, let me think, salty sea air, boar, boar, and pineapple. Okay. I was like, what is SSA? Something, something in A. <laughs> I had to think there for a second. All right. Oh, all the shapes. Let's show you guys what they are. We have a rest in peace tombstone. Let's gonna stay there. We're gonna see. Then we have a, another cool looking tombstone. Let's put that one there. Then we have, holy crap, you're huge. Wow. Um, a triple layered skull dude. He looks pretty creepy, right? Which I love creepy, so I'm gonna put that bad boy right there. And we have a starfish. I'm gonna put that there. Please don't fall, that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> Thinking I'm cool. And we have a little mini skull. Put that there. And we have another shelly shell shell. And put that right there. And another cool looking skull. And a jack o' lantern. You're falling. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do me like that on this camera today, Playboy. <laughs> yeah. um, some really cool seashells and more skulls. So we're gonna put all this. This is a you, you get a good bit for your for your buck here. That's awesome. So we're gonna put this back here and then smell this bad boy here. So this is salty sea air, boar, boar, and pineapple. Can we say summer is approved? with this scent at least oh my god you literally get the pineapple and the salty sea air right off the bat mm. it is a summer heaven or was it, it a summer haven is it summer heaven or summer haven i'm thinking summer haven that sounds better yeah oh and that boar board is as that tropical breezy aspect to it beautiful so everyone that is my haul my first ever haul from Britta's creepy treasures i am highly impressed great packaging great presentation the aesthetic it just screams my name because i'm all about the creepy and the halloween and i get so sad whenever october passes by i'm like no my hi my my holiday my favorite season and holiday and, and everything is coming to an end, no. Because Halloween is like literally my favorite holiday. I, I look forward to Halloween before Halloween is even over. <laughs> like, I love Halloween so much. And I actually uh, work at a local Halloween haunt during the Halloween season, sometimes. Um, because, you know, sometimes you want to just scare people. Sometimes you want to get scared, you know? So I will sometimes work there and sometimes I'll just go to places with my friends and get scared out of my, you know, back end. So uh, thank you all for being here with me on this creepy treasure journey. Hopefully you all would check out British Creepy Treasures because I think you will love her wax if you're into the whole aesthetic of Halloween and such. And I'm overly excited that I can barely talk. Let me calm myself da, 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 down. Thank you. With that being said, I will post all her links below in the description. And I hope you all are doing well. 
and keeping safe. And hopefully, you know, things will go back to normal sooner than later. And um, until next time, I love you guys. But listen, I have wax to go sniff and like admire and like stare at. So I gotta go. All right, everyone. Later. Come on, don't be shy when you got a free throw. I'm playing games, but you know my